Sulzberger, Norman, Norman Bauman uh, uh, did a study and he quoted Sulzberger as saying, for years the New York Times could not write a story that was critical of the automotive industry, that it was unsafe and this and that. A young lawyer about, uh, about almost 30 years ago now, a young lawyer in Washington did, a, did an expose, an investigation of automobiles, he, and he wrote up a whole expose about how unsafe they were, how dangerous they were, da everything from dashboards to visibility. He couldn't get that story published in a single major media. His name was Ralph Nader. Nobody had ever heard of him, but the story was interesting. He had it published in a little obscure magazine called Fact Magazine. Then it got picked up here, got picked up. He finally wrote a book called Unsafe at Any Speed, which became a bestseller. So then Congress couldn't annoy, uh, uh, ignore it, and they had hearings and all this sort of thing. But he couldn't get it in. And one of the people, Salzberger was a typical example. He had a rule, nothing in the New York Times that's critical of the automotive industry ever. Why? He was very clear. They are our biggest account.